Hi, I am Anmad. Welcome back to my channel. Now today's our topic is as a principle 5 establish corrective action procedures. In this video, we will discuss about the definition of corrective actions, procedures for the corrective actions and the record keeping system for the corrective action procedures. Now let us go in details. The first one is definition of corrective actions. So what's the definition? Corrective action is nothing but whenever deviation occurs from a critical limit, we must take corrective actions or failure to meet a critical limit. Corrective action must be addressed. So that is the simple definition of uh, corrective action. Now the procedures about the corrective actions. A HACCP system should be designed to ensure critical limit deviations are identified and corrected immediately. The responsible person for the corrective action should be one or more person who should have thorough knowledge on process systems and HACCP plans and authority to dispose the product to restore the process control. Predetermined corrective actions. Yes, predetermined corrective actions are how to guide. So, how the deviations will be addressed or corrected. Corrective action still need to be taken when an unanticipated situation arises also. Now, components of the corrective action. Corrective action having two components. The first component is identify the product that was produced during the process deviation and evaluate its safety and determine its disposition. And the second component is correct and eliminate the cause of the deviation and restore process control. A proper and thorough safety evaluation is necessary to determine the disposition of the product. Decision related to the disposition of the affected product must be based on sound evidence that the deviation did not create a food safety hazard. The evidence must be documented to support the decision. Now, how to determine product disposition? Steps to determine product disposition. We have to determine if the product contains a safety hazard. If no hazards, then pass the product. If the product contains hazards, then we have to reprocess or rework the material or destroy the material, dispose the material. For example, if metal detector, the product has been rejected by the metal detector, then immediately we have to evaluate the potential food safety hazard is present in the product or not. If S, then what the decision we have to take? We have to reprocess the material. We have to thaw the material and find out the metal fragments from the material. And again, reprocess and after eliminating the corrective actions, after taking proper corrections, pass through the metal detector. That is one example. If metal detector calibration errors occurs, which may also detect false positive, then in such circumstances, we have to recalibrate the metal detector and again restore the process control. Now the documentation requirements for the corrective action. A corrective action record would typically include the following elements. So the product identification. So we have to mention the product description and amount on hold and description of the deviation including time of the deviation and date of the deviation. Results of the food safety evaluation including test results when necessary we have to mention and the corrective action taken including how the cause of the deviation was occurred and final disposition of the affected product. Then the name and signature of the individual responsible for taking corrective actions and signature and date of the reviewer. These are the minimum elements 
to be required for the corrective action records documents now i will give you few examples corrective actions for species related hazards aquaculture streams atra middle receiving stay significant hazard is supplier declaration regarding non usage of prohibited drugs for example if the material is not accompanied with the supplier declaration what we have to take hold the material inform the supplier or disapprove the supplier or hold the material until receipt of the adequate evidence until receipt of the supplier declaration or reject the lot these are the proper corrective actions at species related hazard and polluted streams then the process related hazards for example breaded or battered streams battering application of the streams if exceeds if batter temperature and time exceeds the critical limit destroy the batter and product produced during the period of deviation or hold and evaluate product for the product safety and repair the refrigeration equipment for the batter these are the some of the few examples that's all about the video friends thank you for watching the video those who we have not watched my previous videos i have given the link below as a principle 1 2 3 and 4 thank you and bye bye